Yes, guys, the title of this video is correct. My golf is for sale. Let's get into it. So, guys, yeah, as you uh, just heard, the uh, the gassed up golf R is is going up for sale. Uh, this might come as a, a shock to a lot of you and um, a lot of you are probably thinking how comes why you know I love the car why am I selling it and uh, why am I in this mindset to even kind of go down the route of selling the Golf R this car is a brilliant car it's probably the best all-rounder I've ever owned I bought it probably near on a year ago now I bought it as a stage 2 APR and I've I've worked with Litco as you probably you follow the journey and um we built it up to where it is now a 500 brake you know beast stage three golf r and um it's it's got to the point now where i feel like i've kind of achieved everything i wanted to achieve with this car and done what i want to the car and with the car like you know we've, we've just been on track which was amazing being down santa pod which you know ended in tears um, and we've had so much fun in between, you know, all sorts of testing and so on and so forth. And it's got to the point now with this car, I feel that if I take it any further, I'm kind of just going to be kind of rinsing the car as in, you know, I just, you know, I might modify a little bit here, a little bit there, stick some tacky bits of plastic on here, there, nothing substantial. And I'm just going to be making generic videos on the car. And I feel from a content point of view, me and this car have kind of, we've hit the limit. I've got to say, yeah, shout out to my boy Elliot, who's also in the car. <laughs> He's come up today with me with the STT, actually. So we will be going back uh, in the STT, the sleeper. Which STT. Is... <laughs> <laughs> which we'll, we'll make a video on, guys. But yeah, back to the serious stuff. I feel like, you know, with, with, this, with this car, the next step would be whack a bigger turbo on it and build the engine, which I have thought about and I spoke to Litco about. But it's a lot of money and there's not much more games. We might be looking at I don't know, another 100 brake horsepower for a lot of money. I just think it, I don't know, it's, it's just not for me. I feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve with this car. So why not give someone else the opportunity to own this and have fun and experience what I've experienced and, you know, just enjoy the car. So so with that said, yeah, guys, the, the car is up for sale. I'm actually at um, Blake Down Cars. They're going to be taking um, care of the, the sale side of things of this car. So right now, as we speak, the car actually no longer belongs to me. Paperwork is done, so it's official. So yeah, guys, with that said, you know, also I, I did want to quickly talk. Some people are probably thinking, you know, why didn't I go down a raffle route? Because it, it seems quite trendy to, to do that right now. And I know I could make a ton of money doing that, but I just feel it's getting a little bit stigmatized and I don't want to be that guy. Um, I'm in it because I love it. And um, that's why I'm in this game. So obviously, you know, I'm, I'm just making what the car's worth basically on this sale. So yeah, with that said guys, let's um, let's get out and have a look and a talk about the car. So we're now outside and here is my gassed up Golf R. I've got to apologize because the car is dirty. I've just drove 130 miles to get to Blakedown Car Company, which as you see, we are here. I, I will show you around some of the stock because these guys are serious. And if you're ever in the market to buy a modified car, if you ain't checking these guys out, you're silly because these guys are serious. I actually, um, I bought the Golf R from this place. So the journey of the Golf R started here um, and it's ending here. But anyway, sorry about the dirt on the car. Obviously, these guys will be giving it a full detail and so on and so forth and prepping it before it actually is uh, officially for sale. But yeah, let's just go around and talk about some of the mods. So starting with the wheels, we have the uh, Sparco Asset Agara 18-inch uh, uh, alloys. Again, a little bit dirty. Sit really nice, matte black, and um, all tyres are wrapped in Michelin PS4s, which are pretty much new. Um, I've recently had them all fitted. So coming round, if we... Oh yeah, let's talk about the brakes and sorry about the wind, because it is very windy so as you see i've got um j-hook discs in there they're actually vagbreen technic uh discs 
and the pads all round are uh, Frodo DS2500 uh, racing pads which are immense these are all brand new too again they've probably done about 500 miles we have a trc front splitter it's lowered on um, e-back springs it's just on springs so going around to the back as you see we have a miltech exhaust here matte black tips uh three inch i think they are exits um sound mad and they are non-valved non-res and that leads on to the uh, four inch track slag downpipe which is brand new too also you would have seen that in the, in the previous videos let's have a little talk about the interior some of the factory options and also some of the um some of the some of the mods that i've done so starting with some of the factory obviously we've got a full black leather unmarked and so on and so forth dsg gearbox um the dsg is mapped on a stage one apr map uh, which seems to be coping pretty well. I don't know for the enthusiasts, you might want to take it to a stage two map, but as I say, it, it's handling it pretty well. Royal steering wheels, half Alcantara, half perforated leather with the 12 o'clock uh, stripe on the steering wheel there with the uh, paddle extenders. Going in some more, we have a pan roof. Um, that has been a dream, like first car with a pan roof and it's amazing. Dyne audio, um, sound system on this is a litty, so yeah wicked option there this actually has reverse camera too which is a real dream to have especially if you let your missus borrow the car she ain't gonna run no one over um heated seats so yeah i think that's it um really clean inside um as i said dynamic chassis control is an option reverse camera pan roof dsg gearbox and that's pretty much it a lot of people like are very familiar with this car but for people who ain't um let's go through exactly what's been done to it so when i bought this car it actually had a ram air um, open filter I have replaced that for a forged motorsport carbon fiber weave matte look intake looks real sick again pretty damn new as you would have seen for my track day i fitted a brand new um racing line oil cooler so it is now fitted with an oil cooler i don't know how well you can see under and through here but it has a front mount oil cooler fitted to it too so you know uh, no problems with keeping that engine cool you've got your forge intake pipe going down to a uh racing line turbo elbow you can kind of just about see it and then meeting up with the main powerhouse of this car which is pretty much the l500 there along with the engine's help producing 503.9 brake horsepower to be precise and then obviously you can see our humongous track slag four inch downpipe there which is just crazy yeah as far as um other mods under the bonnet you can't really see much but if you look down here that silver pipe is actually the airtech big boost pipe kit which i recently fitted to and they go down and they mate with the um front mount airtech intercooler which you can't see because it is all hidden under here no it does not come with the gas you up plate so i am sorry about that but that will be coming back off and it will be going back on its original number plate this is a 2015 model on a 15 plate also we are running um a four bar map sensor um ngk race spark plugs and guys a big update on the viz motorsport high pressure fuel pump i just did not trust it enough to sell the car and have peace of mind that the next owner is going to be okay with it so we took it back to litco and i can confirm we have now fitted auto tech high pressure fuel pump so sleep easy guys this car is running like a dream so we have the high pressure fuel pump uh, from Autotech and is also supported by the low pressure fuel pump which is a Walbro 450. Any inquiries please don't ask me because I know I'm going to be inundated with uh, inquiries about this. All inquiries please to Blakedown Car Company. But yeah sad day. I don't want you guys to think that's the end because obviously you know we've got something else in the pipelines right? I'm gonna let the speculation start now. Um, hit in the comments what you think I'm about to cop. I don't think you'll get it. But anyway, give it a try, give it a try. I'll give you a little help, I'll give you a little clue. I would say it's a lot more driver focused than this. Uh, shall I give you another one? Oh yeah, and it's not a two liter. So there you go, that's all you're having. But yeah, the Golf is for sale. guys whilst we're here i thought i'd give you a, a little uh, a tour of their what they got sitting outside i mean they got more in the showroom we're we'll getting to that but we've got a nice blue rs5 air audi rs5 bright yellow fiat above 500 s2000 just sitting there ford fiesta st 
next to a Ford Fiesta ST and all these cars, believe me, they're all modified. You've got to check out his website and check the spec of these. Uh, you've got an RS Trophy. Um, you've got a TT, A45, A45, A45. There's a little Cupra down here, FR. Uh, M3, that's sold, M3. Is that, oh, that's a five door actually, raw. Yeah, five door red M3. You don't see a lot of them in that color. Um, another M3, Alpina 3 Series. Um, another 3 Series, Infinity. It's a bit different. This thing looks kind of crazy. And guys, I'm sorry about the wind noise. Um, this is for sale, Ford Focus ST. I'm sure that's got some craziness done to it. We've got a military green wrapped ST leading onto a Golf R. Now guys, um, as I said, I bought my Golf R from, from these guys. These guys are hot on Golf Rs. They usually got like a mad, list of of golf R's in stock at any one time um i can only see two at the moment but um yeah we've got the uh lapis blue and we have the white one here um i'm sure both of them are tuned or if not one or the other um they do deal with quite a lot of stage three golf R's too so make sure you check that out uh got a nice green sirocco there not my color but anyway uh rs6 event looking crazy sitting next to a gtr here sitting next to another gtr and a couple of suvs so yeah the Golf R will be right at home, as I say, sorry, it doesn't look as clean as the others. 130 mile trip does that to a car. But anyway, uh, let me take you inside and I'll show you around some of the other stuff too. So into their showroom or their indoor showroom and the first thing you see is this, this beautiful Ford Sierra RS500. This thing is mint. Look at the whale tail on it. This thing, guys, if I had the money and I was that committed, this would be the one, as you can see, stripped out cage in the back. It just looks nuts, man. Look at all that stuff. Jesus. And then guys, look, just sitting there, we have the F-Type looking mad. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, if it's the big boy V8 um, that sounds like hell or not. It looks like it's got a big wang on it. So it probably is. Um, so that's sitting there. Just take it, let's just appreciate this for a second. Look under there. That's mad. Guys, again, any inquiries, just get out uh, Blakedown Cars, they're lit. Um, RS3 sold. Um, this looks mad. Spider, oh, Jesus. That's it's the dead. security guard. Nah, bro, that looks, dead, that bro. looks ready to do bits, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, me neither. All right, cool, anyway, so yeah, watch out for the spider when you come down. Um, We've got uh, E92 M3 sitting mad. Like, I've actually uh, featured one uh, a little bit like this. Uh, it was a little bit more track ready than this one, but this looks lovely and a beautiful color. Um, I don't want to get it wrong by trying to guess the color of this. I'm sure someone will leave it in the description. Wicked wheels in it too. Moving on, uh, we have an Audi S3 here, facelift. This looks mint. Um, very subtle, little tasteful mods he's done on this. And I believe this is only a stage one. Um, but guys, don't it? That sits well. That sits pretty well. Wow, I can see my reflection in that. That's clean. Um, and then we have a Ford Focus ST uh, State. Um, I know they actually do these in a diesel too. I'm not sure if this is diesel. I don't think there's any way to tell. I'd imagine being here, it's probably a petrol, but I could be wrong. And then we have a little uh, M140 just uh, slyly sitting there. Uh, Akaprovic rear tips on that. So, um, yeah that looks lit so that's what they got in here oh i forgot to mention they got a porsche panamera gts sitting here too on a 68 plate this thing guys if i had the money me and elliot were debating this boy like this this could be the one um but unfortunately i don't have a hundred and seventeen thousand spare so uh you know like share and subscribe and who knows one day guys that could be me but um yeah so that's what we got in here um elliot what are you taking bro uh boy I'm, I'm feeling to take the, the, the Porsche to be fair. You're going to take the GTS, yeah? Yeah, man. All right, yeah, man, cool, cool. You got that? What, you taking that now? We'll see. We'll yeah. see how it goes, innit? We'll All see right, how it cool, goes. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, so Elliot's copying this. He's probably going to part X the, um, the, the STT and put another 100 bags on it and uh, cop that. That's how you roll, innit? So you do it. I think what I'll do is I'll leave the link to uh, Blake Down Cars in the description, no doubt. These guys are like, um, I don't know, like a... A boy racer's dream, I would say. As I say, this is where my journey started with my stage two APR um, Golf R. And um, this is where it ends. But as you see, like their stock is crazy. They've actually got another unit um, just across the road there with some other cars. I'm not gonna take you over there and bore you, but um, if you wanna check anything out, make sure you hit them up. And um, yeah, for now, it's a bit of a sad one really, but it's bittersweet because as I say, we got things happening. But um, 
yeah so that's their stock guys so make sure you hit them up so there you have it guys uh end of an era um it's been a great platform and it's it's really crazy because a lot of other platforms I've kind of been involved in and I've had loads of cars. I found that like when it comes to owners clubs and things like that, there's a lot of bitchiness and all kind of, you know what I mean, politics. And I've just found with the kind of the VAG and the Golf R kind of, just the whole scene, it's nothing but love. So shout out to everyone, you know, who owns a Golf R, Cupra, S3, all of that, RS, whatever, man. Like it's all been love and thank you everyone for the support and following me. Uh, on the journey with my Golf R. And yeah, as I say, it's a, it's a sad day. I'm gonna miss this car. It's been it's been epic, you know, a stage three, 500 brake horsepower car. End of an era, as I say. Yeah, once again, get at Blake Down Cars. Yeah, it's, it's onto the next project for me. So make sure you go back and check some other content out too. Loads of stuff on this Golf R. If you wanna see the journey I've been on with this car, make sure you go back and check that. Uh, I'll leave links in the description for Blake Down Cars and that. And yeah, I'll, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. So yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let the speculation begin on my next car. And uh, yeah, next video, we'll be picking up the next whip. So peace out.